So we're going to be measuring the voltage output of a 6 volt battery. And we're going to do that using a multimeter. We're going to set the meter to VDC. And that setting means that we're going to be measuring a DC voltage. The red wire or lead is connected to the positive terminal and then to the right input on the multimeter. That input allows us to measure voltage, capacitance, resistance, or current. In this case we're going to be using the multimeter as a voltmeter. The black wire or lead is connected to the COM port, which is in the middle. That stands for common. It's also referred to as ground. And the positive reading we're getting on the meter tells us that the red lead is at a higher potential than the black lead. And that makes sense because the red lead is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the black lead is connected to the negative terminal. And we see that the voltage on the meter is the same as the label on the battery, approximately. Next we're going to do the same thing with a different meter just to see how that's done. Again, the black lead goes to the common port, and the red lead goes to the right input. With this meter, we actually have to tell it the range. In this case, it's set to 20 volt DC. And that means the meter is going to be able to measure voltages in the range from 0 to 20 volts. We pick that because the battery is labeled 6 volts. And then next we're going to do the same thing again, but with another meter. Like the one before, we have to tell it the range. And in this case, it'll be 20 volts. And then we're going to swap the leads to see what happens. The red is going to go into the common port, and the black is going to go into the right input. And we see that a negative sign appears on the meter. And that means that the black lead is at a lower potential than the red lead. And so the meter is taking the difference in this case, measuring the potential difference between the terminals on the battery. Now we're going to set up a series circuit using the materials that we have in our lab kits. We're going to connect a light bulb in series with a resistor. We're going to put the resistor, which is just an unknown value. We have no idea how big or how small it is. And we're going to just put it into the breadboard to see how we can use the breadboard. Each of the rows in the breadboard are connected to each other. So in this case, 
the black wire is connected to the resistor because they're in the same row and then the other end of the resistor is going to go into another row and then you'll see here momentarily that a red wire is going to be plugged into one of the open sockets next to the resistor and so now the other end of the resistor is connected to the alligator clip wire and that wire is going to go to the battery and that will complete our circuit in the middle is a picture of the circuit diagram and that's what you would draw on a piece of paper to describe the circuit Next, we're going to be measuring the voltage across the light bulb using voltage probes. You could also do this using alligator clips, but since we don't have enough banana cables and alligator clips to do that, we will use the probes. Again, the red goes into the right input black goes into the common port we're going to set the meter to 20 volts and we'll see if that works that's just a guess we're going to take the red probe and the black probe and before connecting it to the circuit or connecting the probes to the circuit we're going to see how the light bulbs connected. In this case, the black wire on the right is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. And so that's where we're going to put our black probe. And then the other end of the bulb is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And that's where we're going to put our red probe. We see on the meter that it's reading zero volts. That can be a little discouraging. But it's most likely that we're not in the correct range. So the voltage is probably very small, and so I adjusted it to the 2000 millivolt setting. And so now we're getting a reading that's very small, around 5 millivolts. And that is the voltage across the light bulb. Next we're going to measure the voltage across the unknown resistor, and you can see the circuit diagram in the top right of the screen. Again, we'll look at how the resistor is wired. One side of the resistor is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, and then the other side is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. We see that the resistor gives a value of 1. That means that the voltage reading is out of range. So I changed the setting to 20 volts, and we see that we get a reading of about 6 volts. We'll compare that value to the voltage output of the battery next. So again, the black voltage probe will go to the negative terminal of the battery, and then the red probe will go to the positive terminal. You can see that the voltage is going up and down, and that's just because I have a really bad contact with the terminals. But it's about equal to the voltage across the resistor. I'm going to put the voltage probes on the same side of the resistor, and you'll see that it gives a value of zero on the meter. And then when I put the red probe on the other side, we get a measurement. The current is shown flowing in the circuit, as indicated by the arrows. Once it reaches the resistor, it splits. Some of the current goes into the voltmeter, and then the rest of the current 
goes to the battery. Whenever the circuit has a junction like that, that means that that component is connected in parallel. In this case, the voltmeter is connected in parallel with the resistor. Always connect a voltmeter in parallel. Now we're going to look at measuring current in the circuit. And in order to measure current, you always have to rewire the circuit in some way so that you can make the ammeter part of the circuit. The reason why we do this is because we want the current that's in the circuit to actually flow through the multimeter. And so connecting an ammeter is always kind of a hassle because you always have to unplug cables and stuff compared to using a voltmeter. So the multimeter is set to the 200 milliamp range and it is measuring current as indicated by the arrows flowing through the light bulb that current flows through the meter back to the negative terminal of the battery. And so all the current flows directly into the ammeter. And so this means that the meter is connected in series with the light bulb. And this is how you always want to connect an ammeter. Always connect an ammeter in series with whatever components you have in your circuit. We're going to see how this is done with another multimeter. So once we turn the dial to the correct range, that multimeter is now an ammeter. And then we'll check out the other meter. And this one you just want to set to the milliamp range. And if you look at the circuit diagram in the top right, you can see that the ammeter is part of the circuit. It is connected in series with both the resistor and the light bulb. And so now we're going to measure the current that is flowing through the resistor to the light bulb. Again, we had to break up the circuit, rewire things, and in this case we're going to attach the black lead to one end of the light bulb and then the red lead to the end of the resistor. The reason why we wire it up this way is because that is the direction that the positive current is flowing in the circuit. If we were to swap the red and black leads, then we would just get a negative sign in front of our reading. So now we're going to turn it to the milliamp range, and we see that we get the same value that we got before. So the takeaway from this video is that when you're measuring voltage, always connect a voltmeter in parallel. A voltmeter has a very high resistance. You never want to put it in series because the no current will flow in the circuit. Well, virtually none. And then when you have an ammeter, an ammeter has very low resistance. And so you want to include it as part of your circuit and you want the current to flow through it. Always connect it in series.